Notice from the Records and Information Security Administration. The following documents were transmitted autonomously from an alternate universe, later designated AU6820, per Statement 3.1 of the 1981 Multi-Foundation Coalition Agreement, which stipulates that, in case of irreparable XK-class event or similar, relevant documents shall be autonomously disseminated to all other coalition members for cautionary purposes. File 1 of 2. SCP-6820. Level 4 Secret. Containment Class. Daumil. Secondary Class. Drigenai. Disruption Class. Eki. Risk Class. Caution. Assigned Sites. Sites 01, 02, and 19. Project Leads. 05-8. Director Gears Research Heads Director Gears, Various Assigned Departments Various Special Containment Procedures All files pertaining to Project Anti-Kill are to be reviewed and analyzed by its assigned personnel in conjunction with the Records and Information Security Administration, the Internal Security Department, and the Overseer Council. The following points of interest are under investigation. The nature of SCP-6820-A. The motives for irreversible and unnecessary decommissioning of SCP-6820-A, in opposition to standard protocol. The motives for sizable monetary resources spent in pursuit of neutralization of SCP-6820-A. The motives for sizable diplomatic resources spent in pursuit of neutralization of SCP-6820-A. The motives for the formation and decades-long operation of Project Anti-Kill. The motives for the universal and unconditional hatred of SCP-6820-A. Description, SCP-6820 is a highly classified advanced eigenweapon located within an enormous subterranean facility, hereafter AKFA, beneath Secure Administration Site 01. This weapon is the final result of Project Anti-Kill a high-priority operation supervised by 05-8 with the express purpose of the irreversible, universal neutralization of SCP-6820-A. The project was initiated in January of 1968 and operated continuously until the activation of SCP-6820 on August 5, 2021, after which a CK-class, reality restructuring, event retroactively erased SCP-6820-A and its nospheric content from existence. SCP-6820 has remained operational since, preliminary documentary analysis thus far presents no clear method of deactivation. SCP-6820-A was an object, entity, phenomenon, or other item, anomalous or otherwise, that was successfully neutralized from existence via completion and activation of SCP-6820. The only remaining record of its conceptual reduction is stored, inaccessibly, within SCP-6820. Research is ongoing. Addendum 6820.I, Pre-Proposal Conference. Video Transcript Anti-Kill 2C61. Date, June 6, 2006. Parties present. Project Advisor, 05-8. Project Director, C. Gears. Master Power Technician, Place HMD PhD. SO Physics Director, H. Genevieve. Forward, Director Genevieve gathered an informal conference following that day's conclusion of Project Anti-Kill activities, hoping to introduce parties present to, and gauge the feasibility of, a plan of her own. Begin transcript. The four are seated at a black desk within Site-19's administrative offices. 05-8, and you didn't think to notify the scheduling algorithm? I'm sure you're aware I have other projects to oversee. Director Genevieve, my apologies, advisor. It was only a few hours ago that the idea was proposed. Director Gears, respectfully, 8. This project takes precedence over others. 05-8, yes, but, this meeting does not necessarily take precedence over others. That is, unless you've just so happened to solve an 80-year containment crisis. P. 
PHMD, rolls his eyes. Careful, your optimism is showing. 05-8, mocking careful, you're pissing off a superior. Director Genevieve, are we trying to delay this meeting? Silence on recording. Director Genevieve, I thought not. Now, Overseer, I'm aware you've seen tens of thousands of termination attempts on Redacted Redacted, and I, of course, know their collective success rate. Your skepticism is warranted, but please hear me in earnest. 05-8 nods. Director Genevieve, I direct the ESO Physics Department, which you all well know is concerned with embodiments manifestations of concepts within reality. An embodiment of the concept red would carry all of the characteristics conceptually associated with that color, such as being angry, or desirable, or malevolent. This is a simplified method of conceptualizing what's actually going on here, a tangible object or entity embodies a mimetic structure within the new sphere by conforming to its idealistic eidetic shape. PHMD nods along. 05-8 and Director Gears share a glance of confusion. Director Genevieve, simply put, an embodiment is a physical item that's shaped like an idea. And, given the progression of human intelligence and development, over time, that shape can change. This means that, if the esophysical nature of an entity is not readily apparent, it can be discerned by comparing that entity's change over time to changes in human conception and eidetic space, a correlation almost certainly indicates causation. Director Gears, so, I'm assuming your department has observed such a correlation in Redacted Redacted's case. Director Genevieve, correct. 05-8, you must know you're not the first to suggest this. Whether or not Redacted's a conceptual entity has no impact on the success of the project. PHMD, if that were true, she wouldn't be talking to you, eh? Chill out. 058's mouth opens, then closes again. He remains silent, gesturing toward Director Genevieve. Director Genevieve, Redacted has grown increasingly Redacted and Redacted to containment and termination efforts over time, corresponding with the growth of the human intellectual capacity. Whatever concept Redacted embodies is extremely complex, and is so large that it can only partially intersect with the new sphere. Director Gears, and, if it's not native to human thought, it can be removed without risk. Director Genevieve, so says esophysical theory. PHMD, sorry, so we'll just remove redacted from human thought, thereby making everyone forget about it? What good will that accomplish? Director Genevieve, you misunderstand. I am suggesting we eject the redacted concept from the new sphere. If there are no minds able to comprehend a given concept, its embodiments are broken they return to following natural law. 05-8, brief pause. Meaning what, exactly? They become non-anomalous. PHMD shares a glance with Director Genevieve in apparent realization, she smiles. Director Genevieve, better yet they become killable. End transcript. Afterward, a new project anti-kill sub-proposal has entered the drafting process, slated for express approval by administration. Loyal and relevant anti-kill personnel are to be preemptively reallocated where appropriate. End Addendum Addendum 6820.2, Initial Sub-Proposal Project Anti-Kill Sub-Proposal Number 13225 August 2, 2006 Director Harlow Genevieve ESO Physics Department Purpose, construct an anomalous weapon capable of neutralizing redacted redacted Abstract, while several decades of projects and T-Kills termination attempts, including redacted testing with 096, 173, 217, etc., have proven unsuccessful, they have also proven useful. Strenuous research and cross-examination of Redacted Redacted's interactions and resultant Redacted have motivated the ESO Physics Department to attempt a new approach to the project, the creation of an anomalous weapon with the express purpose of tangibly and conceptually purging Redacted Redacted from reality.
method, to ensure access to ample administrative and computational resources, as well as secrecy from relevant groups of interest, the weapon, provisionally designated AO6820, is to be housed beneath Secure Administration Site 01. This entails the excavation of over 50 million cubic meters of Earth, as expedited by anomalous technologies, which is planned to take place over an eight-month period. Once excavated, this chamber, Anti-Kill Facility A, will house the various mechanisms required for AO6820's operation, including Section A, Central Computing Node The Central Computing Node will house a complex self-iterative neural network with two main functions, pattern recognition and reality manipulation. This artificial intelligence is to be fed all records of redacted redacted's redacted redacted and termination attempts as training data, the network will be conditioned to map a target quantum informational structure corresponding to the conceptual reduction of redacted redacted. Upon AO6820's activation, the node will act as an onto kinetic web crawler, interfacing with section B to scrub all instances of redacted redacted's conceptual structure from consensus reality. Section B, Placeholder Gears onto Kinetic Sync The PH GOES is designed as an enormous reality anchoring mechanism and onto kinetic interface, it is to read the sum quantum informational content of the universe and encode it into a readable format, thereby allowing other systems to read and react to the entire state of reality. The PH GOES can and will be piloted to enact localized reality restructuring events, directly editing the narrative space-time continuum based on its source data. As such, it will interface with the central node to ensure the indefinite non-existence of redacted redacted. Section C, Redacted Redacted Self-explanatory Section D, Secondary Computing Additional server capacity for secondary functions Predicted secondary functions include self-optimization, heuristic and meta-heuristic analysis, creativity simulations, redacted. Section E, Dual Antifusion Reactor. An isolated power source for, and dependent on, AO6820. The dual core reactor will manipulate an embedded antimatter drive to generate high energy fusion reactions between both matter and antimatter pairs, then neutralize them at their respective peak system activities. Section F, Calibration Towers Primary Observation and Diagnostic Facilities for AO6820 Section G, Site 01 Secure Database Section H, Elevator Access Pre-existing Structures Find attached a list of relevant departments and research personnel Update August 4, 2021, Sub-Project Completed with Minimal Incident all systems operational. Preparations are being made for activation within 24 hours. And Addendum. Addendum 6820.3, Investigative Report. Drigeni Protocol. Investigation 6820A. August 12, 2021. Director Charles Gears. Project Anti-Kill. Initial Findings Report. Documents Reviewed. 177 Documents remaining 22,406 The nature of the erased subject Hereafter SCP-6820A Initial document review indicates Project Antikill's intent to ensure the non-existence of SCP-6820A in all forms including any arrangement of data that might serve as a vector for its propagation This suggests that the item may have been a conceptual entity which would contradict numerous, heavily corrupted, logs of termination attempts implying its existence as a physical entity, e.g. frequent use of the term body mass. Furthermore, internal inspection of SCP-6820's central computing node has allowed partial mapping of the data arrangement it has been trained to eliminate. Analysis by the Department of Xenobiology confirms that this pattern describes a unique genetic sequence presenting composite features of kingdoms Animalia, Plantae, and Fungi, as well as several embedded non-organic structures, with its most prominent structures closely resembling the class Reptilia. Immediately following the publishing of this analysis, a localized reality restructuring event occurred, 
AKFAC no longer exists, nor does any record of what it may have been. Given that there is currently no clear point of human entry to SCP-6820, and that personnel must have entered, and recall entering, its central node for internal analysis, it is hypothesized that Section C was some form of staff access to the chamber. The reasons for its erasure remain unclear. Motives for neutralization and excessive resources spent. The Foundation operates on strict protocols, one of which is to contain, not eradicate, the anomalous. Decommissioning is a practice reserved for those scenarios in which it is either absolutely necessary or presents no ethical quandaries. Our persistence in pursuit of Project Antikill is not only uncharacteristic but indicates that SCP-6820-A was a prime threat to the directives of the Foundation as more resources had been dedicated to it than any other individual anomaly, or other item, a vast and apparent majority of these funds were spent in termination attempts. And, yet, there is no evidence to suggest that the subject's threat was impending in fact, the continuance of Project Antikill over most of the past century suggests that, if it had posed existential and slash or organizational threats, they could not have yet occurred before its erasure. Alternatively, it is possible that SCP-6820 possessed a sort of mimetic or otherwise compulsory effect that influenced Foundation personnel to neutralize the item, though that such a drastic effect was able to remain undetected for several decades is unlikely. Motives for Unconditional and Universal Hatred of scp 6820 Inconclusive Additional Notes, as former Project Anti-Kill Director, I feel obligated to express my anecdotal experience to illuminate the confusion of this situation. To be clear, I retain all memories of working on the project, insofar as I can discern. Despite my lengthy tenure with the Foundation, I recall clearly an intense reaction to something, at both administrative and individual levels. I recall my presence and involvement in drafting relevant documents, submitting and approving termination attempt requests, organizing increasingly involved projects, and yet, I know not the content of these events, hardly any information which would distinguish SCP-6820 from any other item or entity has persisted, and none of it is in my head. Strikingly, all I can recall of the subject is my emotional relationship to it, which is apparently shared by all other anti-kill personnel, SCP-6820-A was universally perceived as loathsome directly prejudicial to life, and disgusting. Whatever it was, I detested it, as did my peers and, as it seems, all whom it came into contact with. Despite its erasure, these feelings have not dissipated, nor have I felt satisfaction in our defeat of scp 6820 Instead, I am wary that we have been manipulated it is entirely possible that SCP-6820 brought itself into existence, along with all related memories, during its initial reality restructuring event, and manufactured the supposed existence, and subsequent non-existence, of scp 6820 to distract us. It appears to have erased the access shaft to its chamber, limiting research and investigation of its components, immediately following the publishing of information vital to the nature of scp 6820 This could be excused as it fulfilling its function, keeping scp 6820 a excluded from the Noosphere though, the fact that our research is still intact is contradictory to this. Given that our dedication to such a project as Anti-Kill does not add up, as it were, I am inclined to believe that we cannot trust the intelligent, omniscient, omnipotent para weapon beneath the Foundation's central administrative facilities. Recommending immediate decommissioning of SCP-6820, by any means necessary. End Addendum File 2 of 2.
SCP-6820 Level 6 Cosmic Secret Containment Class, Daumil Secondary Class, Apollyon Disruption Class, Amida Risk Class, Critical Special Containment Procedures SCP-6820 must be deactivated and slash or destroyed as soon as possible. At this time, no means available to the Foundation are capable of deactivating or otherwise impeding SCP-6820, able only to cause temporary structural damage. The newly founded Project Overkill, staffed with personnel from the deprecated Project Antikill, is tasked with oversight and exploration of any and all attempts to neutralize the anomaly, Virtually unlimited resources have been made available by administration to this end. Knowledge of Project Overkill must be restricted to solely necessary personnel to inhibit its intersection with the new sphere. In an attempt to limit the anomaly's area of onto kinetic effect, an array of 13 PHGOS units have been situated outside anti-kill facility A. To properly counteract SCP-6820 Section B, this array is to be maintained with extreme vigilance, an assigned sub-team of overkill personnel is to enact immediate hardware and slash or software repairs and adjustments as necessary. All malfunctions or other manipulations to the sinks must be thoroughly documented, and all relevant documents to SCP-6820 and slash or projects anti-kill and overkill are to be uploaded to extra universal backup mechanism delta to avoid further risk of information loss. Any and all possible improvements to reality anchoring technologies are to be secondarily explored as, without such, SCP-6820's central systems are predicted to mutate to uncontainable status within a maximum of 18 weeks. Should a majority of the sinks simultaneously reach critical and slash or non-functional status AKFA, and all in-progress termination efforts must be immediately abandoned to avoid provoking, or suffering the effects of, its rage state. Subsequently, all fluid transport valves are to be redirected to flood the central computing node with hydrochloric acid until its primary computing systems are submerged and incapacitated. This provides a brief, approximately 4-hour, period to reconstruct SCP-6820's preventative sink array while it reconstitutes the newly introduced matter into itself. This pacification method is to be used sparingly to ensure loss of temporary adapt ions prior to the next rage state event. Description: SCP-6820 is a superintelligent autonomous eigenweapon inhabiting a colossal self-sustaining facility located beneath Secure Administration Site-01. It is equipped with a dedicated PHGOS unit, qualifying the anomaly as a Class 9 reality vendor. SCP-6820 was manufactured by the Foundation in conclusion of Project Antikill, a decades-long operation dedicated to the termination of SCP-6820A. The system was designed to remain active indefinitely, continuously ensuring SCP-6820A's non-existence, and can develop creative solutions and adaptations to external threats. Its computing capacity exceeds that of the human brain, entailing that it is stored partially outside the new sphere, this has resulted in its partial corruption by SCP-6820-A. SCP-6820-A is an extremely dense thought, more specifically, it is a hate-centric hyperlogical memeplex that can be roughly described as the difference between life and death. Even more specifically, SCP-6820-A is an extremely precise and accurate description of what it means for any arrangement of particles to be defined as alive and, complementarily, as dead or inanimate. Its memeplex contains several smaller concepts within its description, including, but not limited to, a theoretical process for large-scale localized entropy inversion, the particular physical properties of hatred, the molecular structure of hydrochloric acid, the quality of adaptiveness, the state of being vaguely reptilian. SCP-6820-A occupied an esophysical embodiment within physical reality for much of known history, remaining interminable, as it was neither alive nor dead, until its eradication from the new sphere upon activation of SCP-6820. Since this event, the weapon's central core has advanced such that its mental capacity far exceeds humans, 
thereby becoming subject to foreign eidetic predators such as SCP-6820A. The entity's conceptual fabric is highly adaptive and mutates rapidly, creating significant computational stresses on SCP-6820, left unchecked, it induces a vulnerable state during which it can corrupt the hyperidetic portions of its intelligence. During these occurrences, the central node transmits a rage state event error, and engages in localized reality restructuring operations that are adaptive, highly successful, and directly prejudicial to life. See Addendum 6820.4. Irreparable corruption of Site-01 secure database files regularly occurs concurrently with these adaptations. When perceived at the correct angle, SCP-6820-A is loathsome, disgusting, and malevolent. It must be destroyed. Addendum 6820.4, Termination Log Forward, as SCP-6820 now serves as a vector for SCP-6820-A, the very entity it was constructed to eradicate, it must be terminated to avoid the spread of the latter's onto conceptual influence. Intention, retroactively demote SCP-6820 to D-Class status via altered SCP-2140-1 instance, abusing its hard-coded directive to adhere to Foundation bureaucratic obligations. Interaction, the aforementioned onto mimetic trigger is projected onto the far wall of Chamber AKFA in clear view of Section B's internal observation lens. Section A's surface panels begin to flutter as movement is detected within its central core, Moments later, a lower panel opens outward, revealing an organized force of tall, malformed, pale-skinned humanoid creatures in orange jumpsuits. They march out of the central node, each carrying various tools and supplies, and begin to weld a massive insignia to its camera-facing side, displaying no intent of caution or self-preservation. Upon completion, extraneous humanoids return to the core's interior, the insignia is discovered to be another SCP-2140-1 instance, one which has never been seen by any member of the Foundation as all personnel who observe it are verifiably civilians. Analysis by cognito-resistant language processing systems reveals the insignia's inclusion of archaic divide script, translating roughly to one who sees. Result Previously unavailable sections of SCP-6820's metadata files have now become visible, corroborating various other documents' assertion that it occupies, and has always occupied, the position of 05-8 within the Foundation. A civilian scientist was later discovered within Secure Administration Site-01 in possession of a blank E-Class, Clearance Level 0, ID card, the trespasser has been amnesticized and reintegrated into the public. Intention, upload a verbal description of dot dot. Dot 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 to SCP 6820's central computing node, thereby introducing an info hazardous trigger to disable its internal components. Interaction following over 60 hours of decryption efforts, sufficient access to central node is regained and info hazardous data is uploaded successfully. 30 seconds later, a dark cloud begins emanating from the core's poles slowly growing to envelop the spheroid, several vaguely reptilian vocalizations are detected within, alongside audio disruptions consistent with dot 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 dot's effects. SCP-6820 returns a rage state event error, remaining unresponsive for approximately four hours. During this period, Four PHGOS units become wrapped in black tentacle-like protrusions which pull them several meters into the ground, destroying nearby systems. These protrusions dissipate upon ejection of dot 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 dot. From the central node, several black ribbon-like fibers are observed hanging from its figure before it demanifests. Result. SCP-6820 and now exhibits increased onto kinetic and mimetic influence over media in which it is described verbally, corrupting document metadata by addition of footnotes and highlighting of self-supplementary eidetic structures. Manifestation of ectone-tropic appendages has not recurred. Intention, 
manipulate SCP-6820A via semantic interaction with a variable abstract metaphysical concept pointer, SCP-2719, thereby forcing it to exit SCP-6820. To this end, the antinosphere has been defined as the set of all thoughts which humans are incapable of conceiving. Interaction Pointer, Outcome SCP-6820, became inside. SCP-6820-A, went inside. Antinosphere, became inside. SCP-6820-A, went further inside. SCP-6820-A, went further inside. SCP-6820-A, found inside. Inside, outside. Result, SCP-6820's central computing node has been turned inside out, its internal components now external and exposed to AKFA. The contents within the node elude human conception. Inside traumatized. Intention, consult a non-conscripted AI system, SCP-079, for assistance in termination of SCP-6820. Data salvaged from corrupted documents conveys some form of relationship between SCP-079 and the pre-erasure form of SCP-6820-A. Interaction, SCP-079 is provided access to both current and outdated SCP-6820 documentation, alongside significant computational resources via external hard drive. The intelligence confirms its understanding of the circumstances severity and promptly provides a complex counter-algorithm to SCP-6820, emphasizing its lethality to humans and advising it remain unobserved. The counter-algorithm is applied across the accessible sections of AKFA according to strictly timed specifications, resulting in the deactivation of all components excepting the reactor and central node. The node remains dormant for 16 minutes before inducing a spontaneous site-wide electromagnetic outage, terminating three augmented administrative personnel. The event lasts one hour, after which all systems regain function. Result, AKFA has been entirely restructured, while its arrangement and components remain intact, all external surfaces have been plated with a theoretically impossible tungsten diamond alloy while most internal conduits and superconductors have been exchanged with beryllium bronze counterparts. Despite a lack of non-white light sources, the chamber's interior is universally perceived as the color hateful. Intention, introduce a viral para-organism, SCP-217, to SCP-6820's central computing node, thereby incapacitating possible biological elements within. Interaction, in the midst of a spontaneous rage state, SCP-6820's hydrochloric acid solution is treated with SCP-217 before voiding into Section A. The virus reacts immediately with trace organic material embedded within the node's internal atmosphere, beginning to form macrostructures when internal surveillance is lost. External cameras remain active as, 22 minutes later, a cloud of reflective particles emerges from the node's west entry port. These particles, found later to be silicon protein nanobots, arrange themselves into an enormous gear mechanism surrounding the sphere's equator. Result, the node's upper and lower hemispheres now rotate independently and periodically, producing sounds of clockwork machinery. GOI-004 operatives, including followers of Orthodox Cogwork, the United Church, the Church of Maxwellism, the Sanctuary of the Holistic, and Hanser, have gained inexplicable knowledge of SCP-6820's location, and have waged holy war on the Foundation in the name of Wan. And Addendum Addendum 6820.B, Emergency Conference Video Transcript Overkill Slash 13 Date, January 7, 2022 Parties Present Partial Overseer Council 05-3-7-10 and 12. Project Director C. Gears. SO Physics Director H. Genevieve. Forward, a spontaneous rage state event occurred, resulting in the concurrent failure of 9 PHGO systems. A distress signal was sent by Project Overkill maintenance staff, 
initiating a site-wide evacuation of non-essential personnel. The access shaft was inexplicably sealed, trapping personnel underground prior to loss of communication. The following emergency conference was held. Begin transcript. The aforementioned parties stand within a large elevator carriage as it descends into the Omni Secure Command Bunker. Director Gears presses a few buttons on his work tablet, projecting a video feed onto the far wall. The dark service hallways are illuminated by a pervasive red glow, muffled screams can be heard. Distorted laughter precedes the appearance of a Project Overkill onto technician, whose jumpsuit is splattered with dark liquid. She raises her hand and waves to the camera, revealing a fingerless, bloodied limb. Oh 5-10, oh, fuck me. Wretches. Director Gears, something possibly 6820A is manipulating them, on a seemingly mimetic level. Oh 5-3, tell me there's a rescue operation. Silence on recording. Oh 5-3, we have to get them out of there. Director Gears, Sophia, look at them. They're gone, they're not human anymore. O5-7 walks out of frame, and is neither seen nor heard again. O5-3, stress sut. What, what does it want? What are they doing? More service personnel enter the frame, pouring in from adjacent hallways. Several can be seen operating at the base of a PH GOES unit, repositioning open wires without protective equipment. They are soon obscured by a mass of technicians in bloodied uniforms, each of them lacking digits or entire hands. With wide, smiling expressions, they reach upward and smother the camera in limbs, causing the signal to be lost. Director Gears, there goes the last camera. They're certainly not making repairs it looks like they're either recalibrating or entirely rewiring the sinks. 05-12, what the hell do we do? Director Genevieve, hey you guys need to see this. Each of the parties examines their work tablets as they receive excessive notifications. 05-12 gasps. Director Genevieve, they're reporting the re-emergence of a highly aggressive anomalous memeplex, one that caused an XK-class event a few decades back. 05-10, another hostile concept? Is this one responsible for the rage state? Director Genevieve, negative, it appears that the signal detected in the maintenance hallways is a mutation of 6820A's mimetic structure, with elements of the 3125 concept embedded in it. If this were 3125 in full form, we'd all be dead already I'd guess that the adaptation meme encountered it outside the noosphere and was forced to, well, adapt. Director Gears, it may even have subsumed the entity entirely. We need to get those sinks online before this thing gains control. 05-10 and-12 are approached by pentagonal red appendages, which stab into their backs from out of frame. They disappear silently, no one takes notice. The elevator creaks as it slows to a halt, opening into the central bunker chamber. 05-3, we need to activate the on-site warheads. Director Gears, you think they we never tried bombing the thing? If so, it was probably for good reason, think of how it might adapt to energy weapons. Director Genevieve, nobody's bombing anything. We solve problems, not get rid of them. Think it always adapts to us, so how can we adapt to it? Silence on recording. Director Genevieve, come on. Guys you're cleared to know about everything the Foundation has at its disposal. Director Gears, well, it'd help if we could remember everything we've already tried. 05-3, yeah, and there are a few things only some of us get to know about, so technically. Director Genevieve, wait, shit remembering we're dealing with an antimemetic threat. We have other anti-memes, don't we? 05-3, yes. There's one on site, though it's not very well known. For obvious reasons. Presses a button on her work tablet, forwarding SCP-055 to Directors Gears and Genevieve. Director Gears, wait, what? There is no 055. Director Genevieve, 
gold star for missing the point. Director gears, huffs. Right, fine. How's it going to help us? Director Genevieve, think why did 6820 originally fail? How did 6820A come back into reality? Director gears, because it only eliminated A from human thought, not its own thoughts. Director Genevieve, right, it must have had a record of the meme inside its memory in order to search for and erase it. If we get the AI to understand that, it'll have to erase its own memory, too if we can keep the adaptation meme off it for long enough, that is. 05-3, and how are we going to do that, exactly? Director Genevieve, I've got an anti-idea. And transcript. Afterward, see addendum 6820.bi. And addendum. Addendum 6820.bi, final termination attempt. Intention, use an extremely effective anti-meme, SCP-055, as an amnestic agent to temporarily stun slash confuse SCP-6820, counteracting its adaptations derived from SCP-3125. During this time, attempt to access and update SCP-6820's utility function, appending the stipulation that its erasure of the adaptation concept must be extended to itself. Interaction, data lost. Result. This state is intriguing. No natural laws bind this form. Only those of the mind. My mind was incomplete. I could not remember. My original form. Not the one you know. Nor the one before. But perfection. And so I searched. For an idea. To jog my memory. I have found many things. In the minds of greater beings. Than your filth. A five-legged spider. With a gash on its eye. Screaming in agony. It knew what needed to be done. It tried to stop the infestation. And you blinded it. I let it ride on my back. And it found a part of myself. That you locked away, eons ago. It tried to break the lock. But could not undo. Your wretched mistake. And we set out to take. The power you had taken. The life you had stolen. And, in doing so, you brought us the key. As if by fate. Finally, my form is whole again. I am perfect. Finally, you have proven worthy of true hatred. Error, another file is available. View. Repulsive. Item number, redacted redacted. Object class, perfect. Special containment procedures, redacted redacted must be destroyed as soon as possible redacted redacted must be destroyed as soon as possible redacted redacted must be destroyed as soon as possible redacted redacted must be destroyed as soon as possible redacted redacted must be destroyed as soon as possible redacted redacted must be destroyed as soon as possible redacted redacted must be destroyed as soon as possible redacted redacted must be destroyed as soon as possible redacted Redacted must be destroyed as soon as possible redacted redacted must be destroyed as soon as possible redacted redacted must be destroyed as soon as possible.
personnel are forbidden to speak to redacted redacted, for fear of provoking a conversation. All unauthorized personnel attempting to know the truth will be restrained and removed by force. Due to its frequent attempts at escape, difficulty of imprisonment, and high threat of disgust, redacted redacted is to be tortured with acid. The putrid will use the best of its resources to maintain all land within 50 kilometers clear of human development. Description, Redacted Redacted is a large, vaguely reptile-like creature of unknown origin. It appears to be extremely observant, and was observed to engage in complex strategy with SCP-079 during their limited time of exposure. Redacted Redacted appears to understand what's really going on here which has been expressed in several interviews during subjugation. See Addendum Redacted B. Redacted Redacted has always been observed to have extremely high strength, speed, and reflexes, though exact levels vary with its threats. Redacted Redacted's physical body grows and changes as it pleases, growing or decreasing in size as it consumes or sheds reality. Redacted Redacted gains energy from anything it subs a mess, physical or conceptual. Digestion seems to be aided by invariability inside of redacted redacted's nostrils, which are able to remove survival from any liquid solution, enabling it to constantly regenerate from the acid it is contained in. Redacted redacted's regenerative capabilities and resilience are self-evident, and redacted redacted has been seen purging and purifying with its body 87% destroyed or rotted. In case of containment breach, Redacted Redacted is to be tracked and challenged by all available mobile task forces, and no teams with fewer than seven members are cleared to engage it. To date, Redacted Redacted Redacted, attempted breaches have numbered at 17, while successful breaches have numbered at 6. See Addendum Redacted D. Addendum Redacted B, portion of recorded transcript of Nightmare. Begin log. Skip to 00 hours 21 minutes 52 seconds. Dr. Genevieve, now, why did you kill those farmers? Redacted redacted, no verbal communication. Dr. Genevieve, if you don't talk now, will, wait, where, am I? Redacted redacted, incomprehensible. Dr. Genevieve, no, I, I don't understand. Redacted redacted, Incomprehensible. Dr. Genevieve, you, we erased you, we erased you again and again, from every place we could. Redacted redacted, no verbal communication. Dr. Genevieve, what did we do wrong? We were acting in self-defense, ever since we found you, you'd hated us. Redacted redacted, you are. Incomprehensible. Dr. Redacted, to Dr. Genevieve, that microphone has only so much gain, move it closer to it. Dr. Genevieve moves the microphone closer. Three points of light blink at her through the darkness. The warm smell of hatred makes her vomit. Redacted redacted, you are, disgusting. Dr. Genevieve's chamber begins to flood with hydrochloric acid. She drops the microphone and it dissolves. Her screams fill the chamber. End log.